Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another crazy video. We're going to be talking about Epic Games and The Brute once again because enough is enough. The Brute, Mech, whatever you want to call it, is so stupidly broken and Epic Games just refuses to respond about any of this drama. But wait a minute, is Epic Games actually the ones causing this drama and that's why they're not responding because they're happy with it and they want drama? Is there actually a chance that someone from Epic Games right now is just hoping that the Fortnite guy or that Denver guy makes another video about how broken and how stupid the mech is and why Epic Games isn't responding? Sounds a little crazy, right? And at first, I kind of thought it might be too, but then I looked into this a little bit more and it does seem like there is a chance Epic Games loves causing all of this drama and adding these awful items into the game just so we can go crazy about them and freak out. Because guess what? Every time it happens, it equals views. Views on my channel, views on all of the highlight channels, views on that Denver guy's channel, views on all of Ninja's videos, Tfue's videos, whoever is making content around this stuff, it gets spiked because everybody wants to see how broken and crazy it is and all of the toxic and angry reactions from the top tier players. Like this one, for example, of Tifu, Cloaksy, and Vivid all just freaking out, losing their mind, and going off on Epic Games. Like, Seriously, I have never seen Tifu go off on Epic like this, guys. Roll the clip. I'm straight zooming. Yep, I just got. Dude. I'm so dead again, dude. This is so dumb. I hate not having loot. I'm gonna freak the f out. I f hate everything about these f mechs. They can go f themselves. If Epic Games is watching my stream, go f yourself until you take these out of the game because they don't f anything positive. They're all negative. It's so trash. Yourself, dude. Oh, such bad players, dude. I literally kill f whole team. Oh my god. This is such a good game. Yeah, Tifu crash. I mean, f pushed. Oh my god, I just need a shield, man. Fucking god. Fucking YouTube, you name me of one kill routine, a salty. Dance oh, game. dude, we had like, how many kills did you have? We had 17 already, or like something like that. Or... I had six. I had. 11. We had no, we had 20 already. We had we 20. Had 20 was 50 left. I blew up a mech in my game and crash. <laughs> I had like 12 kills, dude. I can't wait to go play PUBG on Mixer, dude. I'm so over there. Tifu is so mad. He is furious. I have never seen him like that, and I'm sure you guys haven't either. And it's all because of the mech. But is it really possible that this is what Epic Games wants? Are they actually evil geniuses? Let me go ahead and explain this a little bit further for you guys. There was a Reddit post on Competitive Fortnite subreddit. The title of this post is, The Mech Like The Sword Is A Toxic Marketing Strategy. The guy who posted this goes by the name of Jay, and he said this inside the post. Epic, a lot of us aren't stupid and we know exactly what you are doing. You put in a broken, overpowered, controversial weapon or item or change at the start of every new season to get social media talking about the game. It draws attention on Twitter and Twitch, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite is trending everywhere and you reap the rewards. Then you nerf the new thing that you added slightly, then you maybe nerf it some more, then you vault it, then you get all that sweet, sweet praise for being supportive and people start commenting, they heard us. Wow, this dev team is so responsive. Then you rinse, repeat, recycle, but never revert. 
it is cloak and dagger pulling the wool over our eyes bs sleight of hand marketing strategy that many of us see right through wow so as i said the more you read into it and think about it it actually seems like it might be true because epic cannot be this stupid there's no way they can make mistake after mistake after mistake and never learn from their lesson they would not do that. Any company, especially one that makes millions, maybe even billions a year, would never do that. Yet Epic Games does it over and over. Why would they want Tifu on his stream freaking out and screaming at them, telling them to go F themselves 100 times? Unless there was a plan behind it that helps them grow and get more attention on their game. Seriously, the more you think about it, Epic Games are not that dumb. I have made, what, maybe 10, 12 videos total talking about how Epic Games just ignores their community and doesn't care about us? It's not because they're blind, stupid, dumb, or delusional. It's because they want their this to happen they plan all of this before every season to gain hype for another example why would epic games want these tweets being put out about them first ninja says this woke up and within the first 10 seconds i stepped in dog crap how is your morning and then courage jd who i remind you is a professional caster for fortnite and all of their huge events like the fortnite world cup replied and he said this damn you stepped on a Fortnite mech? If this were any other game, like League of Legends for example, and one of the most respected members in the community who is a caster, streamer, just has a huge following, said this about an item in League of Legends or about Riot Games, Riot Games would probably look into it and maybe change something. But here in Fortnite, Epic Games, they want this so more people talk about their game and get it hyped up so they can try the new overpowered stupid item that everybody hates who is good because they want to appeal to the casual audience. And if you're still sitting here listening to this video and thinking I'm crazy or there's no way this is true, just take a second and think about it. Let's go back to like last year around November, right before I think it was either 6th or 7th season coming out, where Epic Games added in the play-ins and the Infinity Sword. It was crazy. Everybody was talking about Fortnite because one, they added in planes. You could literally fly and shoot people with your team. It was an awesome concept and casual players definitely loved it and appealed to them at the beginning. Then on top of that, they added the Infinity Sword in, which was at the time the most broken item to ever hit the game. You could literally slaughter people no matter how good or bad you were at the game. It was super easy easy to get kills and maybe even win the games. And the aftermath for these additions to the game was crazy. People were freaking out, pro players in specific, because the Winter Royale was going on and this was added a day before it. Couldn't believe it and there was such an outrage from the community. Reddit was going off, as well as every single pro player on Twitter. If you took a look at their tweets during that time, they were pissed off. They were going nuts. And the sword, it stayed for a little bit, but Epic Games eventually got rid of it because they knew how broken it was. It was so game-changing. But the planes stayed in the game for months. And over that long period when the planes were in the game, Pro players never stopped complaining about them. I made multiple videos on it and how players like Zexra were literally threatening to quit the game and then of course people like Tifu on their stream every single day complaining about it. And guess what guys, that is just the first example. Now think about the changes that came after that. The revert movement, then they deleted the pump, and now the brute. It seems like it gets crazier and crazier every time because Epic Games wants to talk what they did last time so we freak out even more and it worked again have you ever seen tifu freak out like that on his stream not a chance and as jay stated in his reddit post epic games has never never reverted a change they will sit there they'll wait for it to calm down and then eventually they'll nerf it a little bit and we get a little excited but then it's still a little strong and then come the next season it's vaulted thank god oh wait a second there's this new crazy item now that we're gonna talk about and they just do it over and over and at the end of the day honestly 
yeah, they're smart. This is a really, really good marketing plan, and maybe it is a little bit evil, but if you think about it, how has Fortnite stayed on top of the gaming world for so long? I can't remember another game like this just dominating every platform and every single game in history. Previously, a new game would come out, and it's hyped for like two, three months max. Then it dies out. Not Fortnite. It's been hyped for almost two years now. And I think it's because Epic Games always finds a new way to hype up the game and get people involved, unlike any other developers. They've really figured out how to get the casual community hooked and to still bring in new players. That's what happens. These new games come out, everybody starts to play them, those are the new players, but then they quit and then no more new players come and play. Whereas in Fortnite, new players seem to come every single day and the game just keeps on growing no matter how many people quit they're still growing and making more money it's true i might hate the brute i think the mech is stupidly overpowered but guess what i'm not quitting fortnite i still play every other day and guess what all these streamers and pro players they're still playing no matter how mad or frustrated they get they still play why because fortnite has built up the hype and that's what people want to see I guarantee you, if all these pro players could go make as much money as they do in Fortnite playing another game that they like more, they would go do it. But guess what? They can't make that money that they make in Fortnite because it's just not there. The hype's not there. The game's not as fun. It's just not possible. So that's pretty much it. Fortnite is sacrificing a lot of their players' happiness in order to keep the game growing, which, if you think about it in the long term, is still good for us, even though we're not happy at the moment. I mean, when I say not happy, we still are happy. Like, the game is still fun despite the brute. So, I think it's genius. I think Fortnite may be a little evil, but hey, they are killing it. Keep it up, Fortnite. I I'm not too mad at you guys anymore thinking about it this way. That's going to be the video, guys. Do not forget to tune in to Wednesday Wagers coming up this week on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. UK time at twitch.tv slash teamkangarna. Links are down below, guys. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos like this every single day. Drop that like. And also, leave a comment down below if you think this evil marketing strategy is a real thing and if it's a good idea by Epic Games. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.